In this video tutorial, we will learn about how to make a weed stone bridge within the Proteus platform. So for it, first of all, we need around 5 to 6 components. So first, let's go to the part and click this P and right here, resistors. And then you must click 0.6 watt metal film and take anyone. We will change the values after. Now we have placed the resistors here. Just put in the resistor and the third one. Now take this pointer, select all three, right click and Click on rotate clockwise. Okay, now we have three resistors R1, R3, and R2. Now connect the top two resistors with each other on the top end and also connect R1 with R2. Actually, R2 is a resistor which needs to be fine. So it is mentioned here the values as 10k, but we will use 15k here. 15k. And why we are doing it, uh, I will tell you. Okay, now in Wheatstone Bridge, we also need one battery or DC source. So you can take this single cell. Okay, now connect one end on the top and one on the bottom with it. Okay. Now assign the value to the battery as 6 volts. Okay. Then take one DC ammeter. Okay. Double click on it and change its range from amps to microamps and press OK. Now it will show us the micro amperes. Then we need a variable resistor in Wheatstone Bridge. So click P and write here port active. Actually, this one is also a potentiometer or you can say that variable resistor. And we must use it in order to find the value of R2 or R, simply you can say that Rx. This one and this one. Now what will happen actually? Now R2 must be declared as Rx. Although we know its value, but in reality, if we don't know its value, then we need a specific process okay then we have to balance first of all we need to balance this this wheatstone bridge and when it will it will be balanced when potential on this node and potential on this node is equal then there, there, there is no potential difference and when there is no potential difference, there is no current flowing through this micro, -ampere, micro ampere meter. Okay, now we will change the values from 100k to like you can say that uh, they can be like a 10k or 1k, 1k. 1k is enough for us. Uh, we will also change its values 1k. Okay, now we need this 
the value of potentiometer is 30k and why i am putting it it is also some bit you can say logical yeah okay now our formula is that we can uh, say that r x is equal to r x is equal to this this resistor that is r v one divided by r three multiplied by r one the above first of all you need to multiply above then their product must be in the denominator and this r v one value is in the numerator so when we will divide we will get the rx so we will multiply 1k with 1k is actually 1k so you can do like now okay or uh, i'll leave it so 1k multiply by 1k is 1k so it it will be in denominator and rv1 must be in the numerator okay so yes uh, uh, rv1 must be in the numerator but here we can see that 30k is the maximum resistance offered by rv1 and here the viper or the middle pin is just in the middle of the potentiometer so it means that here the value is 15k we are not reading from here that this value is 15k but we are seeing that rv1 is 15k divided by 1k so so what will be the answer the answer will be the 15k okay now we will uh, simulate and run it okay so let's run it and now you can see that when we change the value on rv1 it is giving some micro amps here in the dc ammeter so when we will reduce it down and when it will be zero we will just stop and now this is the point where our bridge is balanced so here from this we can assume that our it is a mathematical formula uh, as i explained earlier that rx is equal to rv1 divided by r1 multiplied by r3 so actually don't confuse with the names just multiply these two above and put them in denominator and this one rv1 in the numerator and then equalize and uh, multiply and get the value of 15k as i just explained it so hopefully you got the concept uh, and i also showed you by running this circuit so thanks for watching